You know what's doing my head in? Christmas. For one, it's December the 7th. And two, there is nothing, nothing good that comes out of the Christmas season. Oh. <laughs> mm. Okay, a couple of things before I start. Firstly, the last time that I wore this t-shirt on the vlog, I had a lot of comments saying that, Oh, Joe, how could you film yourself for a whole video and edit it and not realise you've got a stain right here on your t-shirt? It's not a stain. It is actually a hand of Rocky while he's punching the sky in victorious, um, victoritude. Punching, punching the air on my face because he's, he's happy and he, I, I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm gonna go on to the next thing. I struggled for a little while to come up with these five things that I dislike about you need to talk about. But ironically, two things actually revealed themselves to me while I was, thinking it through and so it filled up the gaps. I should point out, as with all of our last week's lists, that these aren't in any particular order. Piccolo order? Particular order. But while it's fresh in my mind, I'm gonna go with number one, fire alarms. Now while it isn't the sole reason this video is coming late to you, it is a big contributing factor that just earlier we had a fire alarm and so we all got evacuated as we always do and we have to go out of the horse building and we have to go and stand out in the cold just by the sea where there's loads of wind and it's really cold and it's wet and this wouldn't be so bad at all if it doesn't keep happening so very often. I think it's happened on average once every week and a half to a week since I've been here we've had to be called out. You know, obviously I'm aware that I suppose it shows that at least fire alarms are working and I should be grateful of that but it just stings a little bit when you know that the only reason you're walking outside is because someone came in pissed and they were trying to cook their pillow or some shit or, <laughs> or maybe not cook their pillow but more likely I don't know burn toast or something and also of course it stops you doing what you're doing so if you're doing an essay it's just like nope or if you're about to sit down and vlog nope nope you go outside and stand in the cold for 20 minutes the second thing that revealed itself to me, it became apparent to me, as it has done pretty much every time I've sat down to do a vlog since I've been here, that I filter out a lot of the outside noise in my normal head when I'm just in my room. But as soon as I become conscious of it because I'm looking to record my voice, I realise just how loud it is out there in terms of people just walking in, shouting stuff. Um, in this particular case, it was even worse than that. Um, as someone, as some people tend to do out there, just blasting music really, really loud, blasting Bangra at this point. Um, so I kind of had to wait for that to stop because I just, I, you, you wouldn't have heard me um, properly over it because you're closer to the, I say you, camera is closer to the window than I am, so it would have been louder uh, picked up on the mic. So, by the way, if you hear any like shouting or people talking um, during any of these vlogs prior, that'll be the reason why. I mean, I know we're all students here, and so like the average student is nocturnal, but still, come on, it's like two o'clock in the morning, I don't need to hear the Star Wars cantina. If I wanted to listen to it, it's already my ringtone. That's, that's not true. Numero trois. The mold situation in the bathroom is just ridiculous now, and it really needs sorting, and We've told them about it, counting five times between us. People have come and took photos, some guy came with a mop, um, to which we sort of replied, that just ain't gonna do it. And it's got to the point now where obviously it's been like this for coming up to two months now. So yeah, I'm pretty fed up with that now. And just hoping they can get it done over Christmas, but I've talked about it before, so I'm gonna leave that for this vlog. So we'll move swiftly on to number four. 9 o'clock lectures, um, well actually no, I'll change that, sleeping patterns I think is more of more an accurate description of what I dislike by uni so far. My weekdays start at different times during every day and so it means that on a Friday I don't have to be until 12 
And so my brain takes that as, oh, sleep until 20 past 11 then. And then I have trouble getting up for Tuesday because my sleeping pattern's so messed up, and especially on the weekend. I mean, I've had a couple of weekends where I've woken up and by the time I've had a shower and gotten dressed, it's getting dark. And that's just not cool. I want to be up and have a regular sleeping pattern because it's, it's just making me really tired and lethargic, so that's not good. Finally, I've come on to my last point, probably the biggest one so far, really money. The problem isn't that I don't have any money, that's not the case at all, I'm, I'm doing alright for money, I've budgeted myself fairly well. I have overspent on what I plan to, but not massively, it's not like I've run out of money and I can't live here next year, I'm, you know, it's still on track, I just need to cut back a bit in the new year. My problem with it is a slightly more psychological one. Every time I log on to my bank online, I see nothing but minus £20 from this cash point. Uh, minus fifteen pounds from Littles. Uh, da -da -da -da, minus, 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 minus all the way down the list. And back when I used to work in the summer and just before, it would feel so good you'd get such a, a sense of accomplishment to have money going into your account and be like, yeah, I've worked for that. I did that. And now it's just like grains of sand dropping down all the money is going, where's the money going? This is all of course the epitome of first world uni problems and as I said at the start I did actually struggle to come up with a five before I started this uh, which I think is indicative of the fact I'm having actually a fantastic time here so please don't don't feel like oh he's not appreciating uni, oh, hating all these things because it was just a subject of the video I am actually having a great time uh, however saying that I'm looking forward to seeing you guys very soon, actually, it's getting close. I was about to say, Connor, I'll see you on Monday, and Gareth, I'll see you on Wednesday, but it reminded me that, Con, you actually didn't put up a video when he said you would on Tuesday. Now, I know from Gareth's video description on Wednesday that he wants you to do a cover of a Girls Aloud song, as previously discussed in our introduction way, way back. Um, not sure that's fair. I think that's one of the most difficult ones to go on the wheel, and as we still haven't got it sorted yet, which what we have to do over Christmas while we're all about. Regardless, he left the final decision to me. I decide that you've got to do two videos next week, one on Monday and then an after dark on the weekend. Of your choice, I'll leave that up to you, you can do what you like, but you must have an after dark next Saturday. On care, I shall see you Monday and Wednesday respectively. Have a lovely... Oh, Lamp. You can have a lovely weekend too, Lamp. But you guys, have a lovely weekend. Bye.